What is going on everybody? Today we're going to answer a very interesting question that comes up all the time. And that is, does the neck pickup of a guitar pull on the strings and cause you to have all kinds of intonation problems and stuff? There's probably tons of videos about this on the internet, but we're going to do things a little bit differently today. We're not going to use any of these guitars. We're actually going to use a, another guitar that I'm going to show you in a minute and we're going to use a whiteboard and we're going to use a lab coat and we're going to use Sharpie, uh, dry erase markers and scientific instruments and math and all kinds of things to talk about this. And I'm going to show you some stuff that you probably didn't realize about magnets. So, well, let me show you what I'm going to use to do this experiment. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Somnium guitar. If you're not familiar with the Somnium guitar, it's got these interchangeable pickup cartridges in them. We're going to use the bridge position only. We're going to play a note with the bridge pickup, with the neck pickup in there, correctly adjusted to the correct height. And then when we get done with that sequence, then we're going to pull those two triggers and we're going to pull the neck pickup out. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Obviously the challenge with this being trying to pick the note like effectively and consistently the entire time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what it looks like on the screen in the DAW. This whole conversation surrounding does the neck pickup pull on the strings is such a fine, like a tiny, 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 tiny amount that I don't even think it's worth arguing about, but I've actually never done this and looked at it on the screen before. Then, what we're going to do, no matter what the results are, if I'm right or not, we're going to show you the math behind how all this works. Okay, so which one of these do you think is the one with the neck pickup out? We've got this bottom one where it looks, you can see the waveform changed a little bit. Now, I should say that this was not take one and take two. I tried this a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times to get this as consistent as I could. It was very difficult. It's really hard actually to pick. We think we're picking very you know, consistently, but it's really hard, uh, especially when you're trying to get it as exact as possible. So anyway, long and short of it is I did this a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times. And I picked basically picked as in selected the two closest that I could. Um, so we played th the note three times and then we changed the pickup selection which, you know, took one out, put one in. When you look at this, you see the, the bottom one here, how the note hangs for a longer period of time, but it's a different shape. The top one, it's, it decays in a more consistent fashion, but it decays more quickly. The interesting thing about this is the bottom one that looks like it sustains longer is actually the one with the neck pickup in. So, does the neck pickup pull on the strings? It doesn't kill sustain. If it does anything, it does not kill sustain. And I tested this over and over and over and over to try to get this right. I can't say that it doesn't change anything, right? Because look at the shape of that. It's different, right? It is different. So I don't, I'm not gonna say that it's not gonna change 
the sound at all. However, however, it's not measurable. You can't hear it. Now, there might be certain circumstances where in a particular situation, you would be able to create a circumstance where you could hear the difference here. However, for most people, it's not a thing. It is not a thing. And when people say, the magnets are pulling on my strings, I'm gonna show you why that is not possible. Okay, sorry about the creepy horror lighting, but it's the only way I could do this without getting a massive glare on the whiteboard. So, uh, we're gonna talk about the magnetic dipole moment. That is a fancy way of saying how we can determine how much torque, magnetic torque or pull, uh, a magnet of a particular size has on a particular ferrous object, i.e. the pickup magnet and the string. Here's the formula for it. So this is math, I'm not making this up. And basically what this formula says is that there's a couple of different factors on this deal. So we've got a guitar magnet here, like in a telly or a strat, like what we just, or like let's take the telly that we just used. So the diameter of the end of the magnet right here, which the magnets that we were using was 0.187 uh, of an inch. And then you've got the gauge of the ferrous part of the string. Now that can vary depending on the, obviously the diameter of the string. So we'll put that here. And also if the co how magnetic the core is because not all are the wrap, because not all wraps of the string are particularly magnetic. So the, the mass of the string as it comes over the magnet, the strength of the magnet, as well as the distance between those two things. So now if we were to take this and move it further away, then basically this formula says that exponentially uh, this goes away. So if we were to go from here to here, it's not linear. It's not like we just moved it, you know, in real world, like an eighth of an inch. It's, you know, half or whatever. This is actually super, super exponential. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna actually show you this with a gauss meter. But before we do that, the bottom line is this math right here says that when you have a properly adjusted string, so it would be like two dimes and a nickel, 150 thousandths of an inch, you know, whatever that is in metric, I don't know, I don't remember, um, that this will have no meaningful effect, this magnet will have no meaningful effect on that particular string. We saw it change a little bit, but it's not gonna kill sustain or anything. It's not gonna pull on the string. Don't worry about that. As it moves in and out of it, as it's vibrating, you're gonna see that because the string is actually doing this as you pluck it. So it's gonna move in and out of it, but it's not gonna have any meaningful killing of sustain. This math right here proves that. Now, let's look at some actual magnets and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we have a Gauss meter, Tesla meter. Uh, this, this thing is adjusted for Gauss because that's what we're gonna use on our pickup. We have two different pickups here. We have a Telecaster bridge pickup and a Telecaster neck pickup. This is the actual one that we used in the test. Um, in order to do this comparison, there's a couple things that need to happen. One is the diameter of the magnets needs to be the same and the length of the magnet needs to be the same. And actually, uh, we shouldn't use a tele pickup either. Well, we can, it doesn't matter. So, well, no, let's do this correctly. Let's use a strap pickup. So, all right, so here's a strap pickup that I've got sitting here. We'll use this instead. I don't want to use the tele bridge pickup because it has the base plate on the bottom and that could affect things. So let's use a strap pickup. These magnets in these two pickups um, are the same length they're the same diameter. So the only variable that we're gonna have, because the coil doesn't matter here, the variable that we're gonna have is the distance from the magnets. So here, watch this. If we look over, okay, so if we look over here and we look directly on the center of this magnet right here, we're seeing, it'll bounce up to 1100, it's 1050 
gals, okay? Which is a lot, but that's what we like with this particular pickup. Now, I gouge these magnets exactly the same. So, but here's what we're gonna do before we do this. What, well, actually, let's do this. So we go from 1050-ish, 1070-ish, right? And then we go directly on top of a Telecaster magnet. 300. Mind you, that is only the difference between the distance between the top of the magnet and the going through the cover, the distance that is created there because there's a little gap there. Now watch what happens when we go up to adjusted string height. So we'll go up about 150 thousandths. Notice what happens right there. We are fully a tenth of the strength of the magnet. This magnet strength at string height away from that tele pickup is a tenth of its original strength. We do the same thing on the strap. Let's go down here to about regular string height and it's a little more because there's no cover which leads us to another video right like the difference between the cover and not the cover but you see what I'm saying here this is not a linear thing exponentially the strength of the magnet goes away as you move it away now you're gonna say well yeah but that's a single coil that's just a telly that's low output blah 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 they're all Nico 5 magnets what about a humbucker remember this number 1100 ish so we're gonna say on the high side 1075 on the low side about 1050 it's just it's very very sensitive because you have to be in that perfect spot all right so let's take those single coils out of the way now let's take a fully gauzed humbucker magnet now for those of you who don't know humbucker magnet is magnetized on the edge so let's go to the edge we only have 587 591 600 right around 600 here this magnet is half the strength. So then by the time you get to the top of it with the screws and the pulls and stuff, humbuckers actually don't have that much magnet on them. So it's kind of a moot point. Even though you would think it's more because it's physically bigger, a lot less magnet pull there. Pretty interesting, right? So at the end of all this conversation, testing magnets, uh, seeing math on whiteboards, wearing a lab coat, what does all of that stuff say? Basically, the bottom line is that the magnet pull from a normally adjusted, a properly adjusted pickup. Now, if you get it too close, makes sense, but a properly adjusted pickup is gonna have no meaningful effect on the strings of your guitar. And you can make up all these things you want, but the math and the science does not support it. That being said, is it different? We saw it on the screen. So in certain circumstances, it's possible that you could create a situation where it matters. But this is one of those things, I think at the end of the day, where people put way too much forum and comment time into something that doesn't really matter. Just play your guitar. Make sure your pickups are adjusted properly and your setup is good. It always goes back to that. Make sure your setup is good, that your, your um, neck relief is right, that your action is right, that your intonation is right, and that your pickup height is right. All that stuff, once that is adjusted properly, you're not gonna have strings getting pulled out of intonation by magnets and all that kind of stuff if the guitar is set up properly. If you feel like you're having those issues, readdress the basics of your setup and they will probably go away unless you have some wacky pickup configuration that isn't normal but for most normal people in most normal playing situations this is going to be a non-issue so don't stress about it don't let people in comment on youtube videos or in forums or the gear page or wherever tell you that you have to have it a certain way as long as your guitar is set up properly. It's a pretty interesting thing. And it's really interesting knowing that humbuckers have less magnet than like this Strat pickup. It's, it's kind of wild, right? So just understanding the mechanics of all this stuff. Let me know if you want to dive into some more of these magnet types and you know, that kind of thing, or maybe the cover versus not cover on a tele pickup. Uh, we could do some videos about that too. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this stuff. Also, check out our news on Wednesday and our live stream on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.